If you like this video, why not subscribe? Okay, today I'm going to show you how to mix uh, video clips with different frame rates within Sony Vegas Pro 12, although this should work with any version of Sony Vegas. Uh, why do you want to do this? Well, if you don't know how to do this properly, you'll end up with video clips that have motion blur where you don't want it. Sometimes you can use that as an effect, but if you're not doing this properly, it will often be seen as a mistake. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I recently learned how to do this after uh, many months of frustration trying to get this to work properly until I found the answer on a forum, of course, and now I just thought I would share it with you. Uh, the first thing you want to check within Sony Vegas is this. This is your project video properties icon right to the upper left hand corner of your preview window. You can see what your defaults are at. Uh, my default is set for uh, my camcorder footage which is high definition at 29.970 frames per second or 30 frames per second it's commonly called. Um, I shoot a lot of videos that way so that's my defaults. If I want to change this of course I can use the drop down menu and change it to anything I want. And then this box down here will set the default, start all new projects with these settings, hit OK. Those are your defaults. Now if you drag a clip that's not 30 frames per second or is it different in any way, such as this one, when I drop it in it will ask me if I want to set my project uh, video settings to match this media. And if I hit yes, uh, my clip drops in and then when I go back to check project video properties, notice it's changed to 24p or 24 frames per second, 23.976 frames per second, it's the same thing. I can also use this icon here to match media video settings which will allow me to browse for a clip and when I click on it, double click on it, it will change the defaults of my project to match it. Um, and notice down here also below your preview window, your project, it will tell you what your project is set up for. Now it's set up for 24 frames per second. So if I drop some camcorder footage of 30 frames per second, I notice I don't get a window to change anything, but it still drops in. However, it's going to be different, and when uh, this project is rendered out at 24 frames per second, this 30 frames per second clip is going to have motion blur, and I don't want that. So how do I fix that? Well, if I just right-click on the footage, and when it lets me go to Properties, there you go, um, I want to click on this button here, which is Disable Resample, and hit OK. And that's really it. Now when the project renders out, uh, with the resample disabled, it won't give me that motion blur, and I'll have a video where both clips played at different frame rates will both look normal and everything plays nice together. Game over.